in this video we will discuss about artificial intelligence so we all know that artificial intelligence is prevalent in almost all the software applications that we use in everyday life we have digital assistants in phone we have uh, automotive uh, vehicles we have uh, uh, software applications that we use at work so basically the all these applications all these systems have made our job very easy but what is exactly this artificial intelligence we have got many definitions about it right we do have general definitions we have some philosophical definitions but in general terms we can call artificial intelligence as any software application or any software system that actually exhibits one or more human like capabilities such as visual perception so what is visual perception it is nothing but the ability of a computer to use computer vision capabilities to accept interpret and process the input from images video streams and live cameras so basically it is the capability of a system to accept the input in the form of images next capability that artificial intelligence system exhibits is the text analysis so this is the ability to use natural language processing to not only read but also generate the realistic responses and these systems are really capable of extracting the exact meaning from the text another one is speech capability so this ability is to recognize the speech as the input and then synthesize the spoken output so combination of this speech capability together with the ability to apply nlp analysis of your text it together forms a kind of human compute interaction that is nothing but a conversational ai in this kind of uh, capability that the system exhibits users can interact with ai agents which we usually refer as bots in the same way as they would do it with any other human and then the system also exhibit decision making capability so which which are generally done by human in real time right so this ability they uh, exhibit by learning from the past experience and they learn the correlations to assess the situations around it and they, and they are capable of taking the appropriate actions for example they can recognize the anomalies in sensor readings so that they can take automated appropriate action and they'll be able to prevent the failure or the damages in the system so th this is uh, about the broad definition of your artificial intelligence now when it comes to artificial intelligence we often come across different terms like data science machine learning artificial intelligence but we should really uh, understand clearly the difference between these three terms so what is data science so data science is a discipline okay where the scientists focus on collecting huge amounts of data and they analyze that data by applying some statistical techniques so that they understand the re relationship and the patterns in the data based on the patterns and the relationship that they visualize within the data experimental models are defined and and those patterns are explored to be able to use those patterns for some meaningful outcome for example data scientist can gather samples of data about the population of the endangered species in any geographical area 
and then they combine it with the data about the levels of industrialization or the economic demographics in the same area right so once they combine these data together and by applying some statistical techniques they are able to find out the relationship between the, uh, these kind of data and then they will be able to deduce the uh, impact of human activities on the wildlife so here it is more more of analyzing the data so that by checking out the relationship between the different uh, features in the data they can arrive at conclusion for the uh, problem that they are trying to analyze so here in the case of analyzing the endangered species they are trying to find out what is the impact of human activities what is the impact of economic development in any particular area on the uh, on the life of the animals on the population of the species which are on the verge of extinct now what when coming to machine learning machine learning is a subset of data science here it deals with the training and the validation of predictive models so the data that data scientist has collected and analyzed and refined that data is used to train this machine learning models and based on certain algorithm these machine learning uh, models exploit the relationship between features in the data and then they predict the values for the unknown labels now as we have seen our example of endangered species data scientist will use this data uh, uh, data and they will try to train the model this model will predict the annual growth or decline in the population of the species based on the factors such as number of uh, nesting sites observed or the area of the land which is designated as protected or the human population in the local area the daily volume of traffic on the roads in that particular area so these predictive models will be then used as a tool to evaluate the plan for housing development infrastructure development industrialization development and assess their impact on the wildlife in that area now when it comes to artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is again built on a machine learning model itself but it is a software that actually emulates one or more characteristics of human intelligence so basically artificial intelligence adds more intelligence to your machine learning models now if you if we take our old example of endangered species uh, uh, prediction here now in order to exactly uh, find out uh, uh, like what is the impact we should be able to exactly count the population of the endangered species that we are trying to protect so we should be able to monitor their population correctly now if you say that if any human expert uh, can uh, positively identify the animals that we are actually interested in that is not possible for them to monitor a very large area for any particular period of time right they cannot always stay there and then keep on monitoring and also uh, being uh, monitored by human animals can get deter and it will prevent their detection so we can make use of artificial intelligence wherein you can capture the image of the animal animals from the uh, motion activated cameras and then use some predictive ai models which will identify if the image contains in the photograph is of the animal that we are trying to monitor so then this model can be used in a software application that responds to automated identification of the animal and then we can track the animal in that particular geographical area and then we can identify if that area 
is having a dense animal population and if that area should really be treated as a candidate for protected status. So, I think now it is clear what is the difference between these three terms. So, in this video, I just want to give you clear understanding of the core of core meaning of your artificial intelligence. Thank you. See you in the next video.